Coburn went in early as precautionary. Um, Josh Wiley hit his head on the ground in a one-on-one, -on -one, so took him in as a precaution. No official designation on him, but took him in just to be, be safe. Um, Kyle Phillips had a hamstring. Uh, Marlon uh, had a bicep. Uh, we're waiting to see the severity of that, so we'll find out. Uh, Bryce Oliver had a little heat issue. He went in. Um, and then Kenneth Murray, we held out with some hamstring tightness as a precautionary uh, just to keep him out of the practice. So nothing serious there. But um, other than that, I think that's everybody. Uh, everybody else was the same injury wise, but good second day of work. We had to, you know, we cut the practice down after a really heavy day yesterday in the heat. Um, so got some good situational work in the red zone. It's always hard down there, um, particularly against this, this scheme. Obviously, I've gone against Mike before and going against Denard sort of every day. And, uh, OTAs and training camp, you know, they make life difficult down there. It's a good sound scheme uh, in the passing game. And um, so that was good. It was good work to get to get against some other folks down there in the red zone. But two minute was not great on either on anywhere, really, I don't think on both sides. Um, hoping to get a little more out of that situation than we did, but we didn't. So here we are. Um, other than that, that's I'll let you guys ask questions. Hamstring is uh, time consuming. We'll see. Not not sure yet. It, it could be, could not be. I don't have, I don't have any more information on it at this point. Uh, there was one instance where uh, I think it was Williams ends up on top of JC, uh, got the arm back and was prepared to go. How did you like the way JC responded to that uh, in a hot physical practice? Yeah, I, I commend really both teams. I, I think, you know, we, we were very clear about what we wanted to get out of this practice. Mike was clear with his team. I was very clear with ours. Um, and I think we got really good work. And look, it's going to get chippy out there. It's two really highly competitive uh, NFL football players. That's just the way it goes. Uh, but it was good to see the restraint. There was back and forth. There was some talking. Um, but at the end of the day, we kind of got out of this two days worth of really good work without any real issues or escalation. Um, and that was really good to see. So really proud of our guys, the way they handled themselves. I thought the Seahawks did a great job, too. Again, keeping it competitive, but but never crossing the line. So that was good to see. Some receivers out. How do you, how do you think some of the guys behind them did? Well, was, I mean, from my first feeling of it, Pretty good. I think we had some good work. Those guys did some good things. Um, I'll have to watch it more to see if we were on our details, you know, depths and technique and all that stuff. But uh, for the most part, felt pretty good about how those guys performed. Khaled said yesterday he did not run hard through, through the two deep balls. Yeah. I know Will kind of took the blame on the one throw. That's a bit concerning that a big ticket free agent who's supposed to be setting the tone is no. not running hard. No, not really. It wasn't. It wasn't. I wouldn't credit it to not running hard. Um, it just reminds me a little bit, you know, we had, when Jamar Chase came in as a rookie in Cincinnati, um, there was a bunch of hoopla about how he forgot how to catch a football. Um, and we couldn't hit him deep and we couldn't connect and he can't catch. And um, I think the same thing happened to Jerry Rice too, if I'm not mistaken. But some of these training camp ups and downs get a little bit magnified. I'm not overly concerned about the process. I think we're in the right place. Uh, sure, I would like to hit one or two of them, but um, those things come and, and I don't really overreact to that at all. I think yesterday was hot. Those guys were legs were dead. They we were dead today. We cut practice pretty significantly because of it. So um, I would just say we're just continuing on as as, as usual. How disappointed are you that when you get the offense in the two minute team period, it's one play? Oh. Disappointed. Yeah. I mean that was that wasn't what I was hoping to get out of that period. Um, you know, I thought we were. It just didn't wasn't good execution all the way around, and and you know we threw an interception to what would end the game, and so that's uh, it's good coaching to teach off of. But you know, uh, yeah, very disappointed in that. that. That was I was hopeful to get better work out of that with the operation um, instead of just throwing a pick on the first play, and it's that's it. So uh, yeah, disappointing. Do you feel like there's time to work on those things now? Now that the joint practices are behind you, or do you are you worried that right now that might be what the team is? Oh no, I don't I don't think that I. We got plenty of situational work coming up. We have a whole situational practice coming up as well. Um, so no, this is just part of the process. Again, it's would have loved to see us be able to go five, six, seven plays and have a shot at the end zone to win the game in that situation, and um, and we didn't. And so we got to go back and learn from whatever that is that the mistake was. Um, and you can't turn the ball over if you want to have a chance to win the game with a minute left. And so I think that's really all. Well, it's to me, it's an isolated, it's isolated incident to the practice today, and we'll keep moving forward. Continues to show up around the football. Can you talk about kind of the improvements that he's made throughout camp, and do you yeah. look at maybe giving him more play time higher up on the depth chart? Yeah, I mean, we're we're our, there's not a lot of bodies in that spot right now, um, so he'll get plenty of play time. But he's done a really nice job of taking advantage of the opportunity. Um, he's made plays in the game. He keeps continuing to show up in practice, and so that's what you ask the guys that that are trying to take hold of of an opportunity is that 
you know, can you do it multiple days in a row? Can you stack four or five days, four or five practices? And continue to play at that level and so far he has and that's really good to see I think you know Quan's kind of in the same boat is he's put together a handful of really nice days and is can you keep doing that um, at that level as is it is it really who you are as a player are you really taking advantage of the opportunity and so so far I think you know both of those guys have done that they're both in similar uh, cases where they're trying to prove themselves and have put together some good tape and um, so far so good for them they've done a nice job JC today <laughs> is today a good example for him of they know who you are and they're going to challenge you? Yeah, it's great. It's great work. I mean, that's a, they got some good players on the front. I, I think they got some underrated rushers. Um, so it was awesome work for JC to, to see somebody different than, you know, Arden and Harold. Like, there's other types and styles of rushers out there that he needs to go against, and that part was great. And obviously, and they kick Leonard out to the end. That's a, that's a big physical matchup, and um, that's great film for us to watch and him to evaluate and get better from. Oh yeah, I am. So far, it's been they've done a nice job. I think we've been like early in this practice. We came out out of the gates, and I thought we were excellent running the football um, in the first few first period there. Um, but I've seen a lot of really good things. I think they're on track. Um, I think it's good competition with with Dylan and and uh, Ruppy. Um, but both of those guys have raised their level of play, and I think NPF's done a really nice job at the right side. So um, we're not a completed work. I mean, there's plenty of days to go here, but um, the progress has been notable, and um, I've, been, I've been pleased with it. What did you say happened on that interception on that final team period? Was that just you want Levis to get the ball out quicker, or what, what would you say? Yeah, I'd have to look at the route. I was watching the, I was, again, I was watching the protection up front, and uh, when I took my eyes up, the, the ball had been undercut by, by Witherspoon. So... Um, I don't know what happened with the route. It didn't. Nothing was right with it all the way around, which is why you end up throwing an interception. Um, so I have to watch it to, to know for sure. When you have those coaching moments with Will, like what have you found to be the best way to address whatever the issue is? Straightforward. Um, you know, we don't really hold back. I mean, we're very honest. Um, point out what's wrong, what needs to be better, how it can be better, and I think that's the key. Is that whenever you're going to point out a mistake, is is what's the solution? What are you coaching? You know, is there are you just criticizing the, the action or do you, are you offering a solution to what, what could be better? Um, and so we, we criticize and we offer the solution and, and what we think could have helped that play be better, whether it's footwork, whether it's his eyes, whether it's the route. You know, there's a, a bunch of things that go into that process, but um, it's always going to be about being critical and being honest, taking the criticism for what it is, and then offering a solution to how it can be better. How much of a sense do you have of how the defense did and do you start your review with a debrief from Denard, or do you dive right into film? I dive right into the film to watch it. You know, I, I thought, uh, particularly our, our first team defensive line did a really nice job yesterday. I thought, um, but I watch all of it myself, and then I usually convene with him and go through anything that, that we need to talk about. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of a back and forth. Him and I talking about that after I've already watched it, so I at least have some reference uh, on the what went well, what didn't go well. So. Um, but yeah, I, there was some really good stuff, I think, on, on, on all phases of the defense. Uh, and there were some things that we got to get better at, for sure. Some of the corners were moved up with, yeah. with people absent. Uh, what do you think of what they're doing throughout the um, they, got, they had a tough task over there, you know. Uh, DK is as good a receiver as there is in football. Um, I think Jackson Smith and Jigba is, is probably one of the better slots as a young player. So they had their hands full. It was a good test for them. And these are guys that, that we're going to be counting on and have to step in, in certain spots. Obviously, we don't have Cheeto and, and Legereus out there. Um, but, but still, the expectation is when they go out there to, to play well. And what I mean by play well on top of it is do things right. You know, whatever the technique is that's like if you get beat physically, those things happen. Um, sometimes there's a mismatch, but to do things the right way, the way it's being coached, um, I think is the most important part of what we're looking to see from those guys that get a chance to elevate and play against better competition. The second preseason game, uh, Coach, the second preseason game, a chance for you to get a look at guys that may not be starters, but certainly guys you're going to be counting on. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to seeing how they perform there? Uh, very much so. These these pre I love the preseason games personally um, because you get a chance to really look at the depth of your team and see what kind of guys you have playing. And again, they're playing against other guys fighting for the same things. And so you know you get pretty good competition out there with, with those with those groups. And um, I love watching it. It's great evaluation for us to see what we have in a real live action because you don't always know what you have out here in the practice field until you see guys go play football for real. And so uh, I'm looking forward to it. There's going to be some guys competing for spots and. Um, our team plays really hard, so I'm looking to see, looking forward to seeing what they do. Play the starters at all? No, the starters won't play. There may be a couple of guys, maybe that play, but our, our starters will not play. Obviously, two really hard, physical, heavy days of work for them. Uh, no reason to put them in the game. We got our controlled work here against their ones. Um, 
really that's the benefit of the joint practices is the amount you get against these guys. It's controlled. Uh, but no, our starters you know, should not expect to see um, many starters, if any at all. No, what you're worried about the quarterbacks? Uh, Malik will start the game. Yeah, Malik will get his chance. He's, he's rotated some with the twos. Uh, in, in the last two days, um, he will start the game with that, that, that group. Uh, he's earned the right to have an opportunity to play with, with that group, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. You guys good? Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks much, Brian.